Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm really excited to show with you a new tutorial I have that kind of follows up on my last one. So um, I showed you how to make a transparent header in the theme builder or just with Divi and have that menu, the header menu over top of your section. Well, what about when we want that to be fixed? What happens is we have it transparent and we have it fixed, but then when we scroll down the page, well, the menu's transparent and it's like mixing with the page and it really doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you how to change the background color of that header to a different color other than transparent when you start scrolling. So I'm really excited to show you this one. Let's get started. So this is really a follow-up on our last tutorial. The last tutorial we talked about making a transparent header in Divi and here where you see where it's black we made that transparent and put it down over here um, when we scrolled it just went up just like you see it now it was just over top of the image in this one we want to have it so that we have that transparent header when it starts and we want it over top of the image but as we scroll down what was happening before was that this was transparent so we'd scroll down and the menu would stay fixed and it would start overlapping all of our content and looking really bad. There's no built-in way to change that background color when it starts scrolling. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It takes some code. It, it's going to be easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Don't be afraid of the code. But you know, this is this is um, a unique tutorial. There's no way to do this otherwise. So let's get started. I'm gonna be jumping into the theme builder. We're actually using the theme builder. You could do this on just a regular page if you had a header that you wanted on just one page, but I've chosen to build it in the theme builder and assign it to the page that we're using. So let's go and edit that template. And you're gonna see that I have a section in here already and like we were just looking at on the live page, but with the black background and I have an image here for a logo, a menu module and this button here. So again, we want that to stay put over top of here with transparent. And when we scroll, we want it to change to like, I don't know, a, a, a black background, I guess. So that first of all, let's get this thing transparent. You want to change the transparency in the menu module background. Make sure that you're on transparent there because that comes by default with a background. But also the main thing here is setting our section background to transparent. So go into the section and click on transparent okay so it looks white because we have white text um, the next thing we need to do well, in fact let's kind of do the same thing here again save this and i'll show you what happens okay so when when we have it set to um to absolute positioning this is how it looks okay so it's over top but again when we start scrolling we don't want that all right, let's go back to our theme builder section, our header here, go to the advanced tab of the section, down here to this position toggle. Now we have it on absolute. Let's see what happens when we put it on fixed. This is exactly what we wanna do. We want our section, our header section to be on fixed position. And um, it's actually, it's actually I should have showed you clearly that it's actually on the top right here. So I'm not sure where this was by default, but make sure it's fixed to the top. We could do the footer and we could do it on the bottom, but here we're doing the header, so we want it, you know, fixed top. Okay, so that's save. Let's go check out what happens when we have it transparent and fixed. All right, so here we are. Let's start scrolling, see what happens. Great, it's staying fixed. And right away we can realize we've got problems. There's no way to fix that, right? No, it's really not in Divi. So you're gonna to have to go over to my blog. It's linked in, if you're on YouTube, it's linked in the description down below. Um, down here, we have a snippet, all right? Um, it's some, actually some jQuery code. So you're gonna to have to be referencing that um, in this, you know, to even get this to work. So let's go back here. I forgot one thing. Go into our template again. I forgot this. Let's go into the advanced tab of the section. We need to add a class. So go in here to CSS ID and classes, CSS class, and type in PA header. And if I could type PA header. Okay, so this, this is in our, our header section. P 
PA header. So what's going to happen? We what we want to what we want to do is for um, the code to tell that section to change background color when it scrolls. Okay, let's get out of the theme builder here because we need to go to our theme options, and we need to go up here to the integration tab. And this first section here, it says add code to the head of your blog. All right, so if you already have code, let's just scroll past that. But add code to the head of your blog. This is where we want to be in our theme options, integration, and then here. Now, let's go get that code from the blog post. And here we go. We can just copy um, the whole snippet here. Copy that. Go back to our website and paste that in here okay and then there's actually some more code um, let's go down here of course that's how it's going to look there's also some css so we also need to copy this and we're going to be putting that in the general tab of theme options down here at the bottom and just if you have code in here already just go ahead and paste that in after that okay so we've added our jQuery and our CSS code. We've also added the CSS class to that header. So what we, again, what we want to happen here, we want this header to change color because otherwise, you know, it's, it's, it's blending with the page. Um, so let's refresh. Oh, and it's not working. That reminds me, we missed a step. I forgot. Let's go back to our theme builder. I'm very sorry. I was thinking it had to be set to transparent, but what what I found was when this when this header is actually set to transparent, it's actually just like super hard coded, and we we would have to like try really hard to override it. So what I found, it's much easier actually, believe it or not, to go in here and and set the background of our header section to just default. So click this little like refresh default button, right? And there, see, you'll get that, add background color. So we don't want it on transparent after all. So sorry about leading you astray there. We would if we were having it just as an absolute position where in our last tutorial where when we scroll this went up the page. But in this case, um, our CSS actually, here, I'll show you. Our CSS is actually making it transparent. See, it's PA header, background transparent. And then what happens is when we start scrolling, it applies this class, PA fixed header, and a background color of something else. So I, I hope I'm explaining that okay. We're just telling it to be transparent by default, and when it starts scrolling, we want it to change to black. And of course, you could change this color in our CSS right here. Okay, so let's go test that out see if we've got it right this time and let's start scrolling and there you go change this to black perfect scroll back up as it nears the top changes back to transparent perfect all right if you guys like this share it around share it in the facebook groups let other people know about it all right so i'm kind of proud of that one hopefully that one gets a lot of use out of it and you know you can share that around because I know people were asking that I saw people asking this I was like yeah how do you do that so I figured it out and added that jQuery and um just really happy and you could do other things with that you could actually change the color of your uh, the text in the menu or you know what I'm saying like as you target that main class that we added to the section you could actually target then you know the text inside that change change the color to a different color text or maybe you want to shrink the padding the spacing on that section uh, when you scroll down but you can all do that with uh, with that class that we added to the section all right so hope you can find this useful be sure to share this one and let me know what you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video